Hello vlog, happy new year. It is the first vlog of 2023 and I just wanted to thank you guys for sticking around for Vlogmas. I was really worried about it, but you guys are so nice and so sweet and I love reading your comments and replying to your comments. So I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support and to show my appreciation and because we hit 10K on the vlog channel before 2023, we will be doing some giveaways. So make sure you stay tuned till the end to find out what the giveaway prizes are and how you can enter. And before we get into the vlog, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and I hope you guys enjoy the video. We just got home and look who's in the igloo! <laughs> Hi, honey. Sweet girl. <sighs> She's over it. <laughs> we are watching Singles Inferno and I'm trying these Pedos Zesty Ranch. Not bad. Big Hero 6. Oh, yeah, Bird hot has chocolate. hot chocolate. <laughs> All right, I took a huge nap. And so now I'm eating an apple with string cheese. I uh, ate most of the apple already. <laughs> and we're watching Singles Inferno because I fell asleep <laughs> during the episode. And then we also have some tortilla soup, the one that we got from Costco. We're finishing it up. So this is our little homemade dinner. <laughs> and Bird's wearing his ice climber blanket hoodie thingy. It's cold. Yeah. yeah, I gave this to all my family members and they really liked it. Keep them warm. Mom said she slept in it yesterday. Oh! <laughs> we are at the mall because we have to return some stuff and we're gonna go see some cats. <laughs> <laughs> Black Sesame Blizzard, it says fresh grade A milk and cane sugar, less sweet, less ice with signature black sesame cream. I got a creme brulee muddy milk, fresh grade A milk, no caffeine, less ice, boba, recommended. <laughs> recommended? Not bad, very black sesame-y. Hmm. I'm gonna try. Mm. Oh, it's really sweet. Well, yours is not, it tastes like sesame. No bad. The texture of the boba is good. <laughs> now we're gonna go eat... Pocket sushi. Pocket sushi, that's what it's called. We didn't know what to eat around here, so I just yelped something. And we need something really light because we're gonna have an early dinner. And it's already 2.30, so pocket sushi, here we come. I got the trio, which has tuna, salmon, and tempura. And there's some pickled radish in there and cucumber. And this and is then... the hot dragon. Or no, 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 no. this pocket. is hot pocket. Yeah, it has spicy tuna, shrimp, tempura, salmon, some like salad. I think there's jalapeno in there as well, cucumber. Yum. Came with the sauce, so I'm gonna pour some on. I think it's just like wasabi with soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Kind of what you expect. Okay. <laughs> What's it? 
Mm. I like this one more because it has more flavor. Like the spicy tuna adds that nice kick. I think both are good. Mm. Bird's favorite. Our bag is getting too full. Okay, we are home from Trader Joe's. Thought I would do a quick haul for you guys. First step, I wanted to show this. I wanted to try it on camera for you guys. And Bird is also gonna try it on camera with me. It's a half-dipped chocolate and vanilla flavored sandwich bars. Whoa. Interesting. It's really interesting, yeah. It's like huh. a long piece of ice cream, but then the cookies are short, and then just dipped in chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad. I like the chocolate. Like, kind of crunchy. Tastes kind of like, I mean, not quite like an ice cream sandwich because the cookies of an ice cream sandwich are more mushy, I guess. Yeah. yeah. This is more cookie y. But yeah, not bad. What do you think? I still like the regular ice cream sandwich more, I think. But really? Yeah. Mm. Not bad. Then we also got this, which is the vegan Thai green curry. And I only found out that this was good because I did a Trader Joe's video on my main channel trying it. Otherwise, I literally would not have ever tried this. But thank goodness I tried it in that video because it's so good. And ever since discovering it, I've bought it quite a few times. Then of course, we got some garlic naan. Always gotta have some of this in the freezer. And to go with it, we have some of their pre-made Indian frozen meals. We have the lamb vindaloo, which is one of my favorites. And then this is the fiery chicken curry, which I don't remember if I've tried this one before. I usually go for the lamb vindaloo and the chicken tikka masala or the butter chicken. And then I also saw that they had the Korean cinnamon pancake thingy. I think it's called a kodak or something. Don't quote me on it. I might be pronouncing it wrong, but it says that it's a traditional Korean street snack and it just needs to be heated before serving. So when I try this, I'll let you guys know how it is. And then I also picked up these it says sliced Korean rice cakes, but I actually know these more as like in Chinese dishes. Like there's this um, Shanghainese rice cake dish that I grew up eating all the time. And they use this kind of rice cakes. It's not like the long log looking ones. Tony! <laughs> Tony, get them off! <laughs> anyway, and then we also picked up one of these, which is Bird's absolute favorite. It's the rolled corn tortilla chips, chili and lime flavored. It's basically their like knockoff version of Takis. But I actually kind of like these better in the sense that Takis sometimes are just too flavorful and this is a little less flavorful. So when I want something more mild in flavor, but still pretty flavorful, then I'll go for this one. And then last but not least, we have this sipping chocolate flavored cocoa mix. And I actually remembered that someone recommended this to me like years and years ago. I got this really bad hot cocoa mix from Trader Joe's and I like posted it on my Instagram story and then people recommended this one saying that this one's a lot better. So that's why I picked it up. And that's it for our Trader Joe's haul. We actually have plans to have dinner with some friends at 5.30. So that's in like less than an hour. So we're probably just gonna chill. Oh, also I wanted to tell you guys about the cat place that we went to. It's called Mini Cat Town in Stone Ridge Mall. And they also have one in East Ridge Mall in San Jose. We've been thinking for a while that we want to get a another cat so that Tony has someone to play with or just like has some company, you know? So yeah, we've been thinking about it for quite a few months. So that's why we kind of went to check out that mini cat town place because you can like meet a lot of cats and then you can also adopt. They don't do same day adoptions. So yeah, we've been meaning to check out that place for a while. We'll probably go visit their East Ridge location as well and just see how the cats over there are. We really want to have like a small kitten because Tony is quite territorial. So hopefully having like a small kitten will bring out like the motherly in instinct in her. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Obviously, if we do end up getting another cat, you guys will see it on the vlog. She doesn't look very happy. Huh? She looks scary. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> look at her little biscuits. 
She is so cute. All right, so we are back home now from dinner with our friends. We went to Taishokin, which is like literally one of Bird's favorite restaurants. I mean, I really like it too, but Bird wants to go there like every single time we're gonna eat out. He literally is like, Taishokin. <laughs> they're known for their tsukumen and they're from Japan. Oh, Tony. Yes, can I help you? Oh my gosh, hi honey. Oh, she's just dropping off. Okay. They're from Japan and they're known for their tsukumen, which is the dipping ramen. So usually we get one order of that, but also an underrated item is their Tokyo classic abura soba. So we usually get that. It's like dry soupless ramen. That one is definitely one of our favorites. And this time though, they had this winter seasonal special. They said they only had five bowls available and it was like their A5 Wagyu ramen. And I don't think I've ever had A5 Wagyu ramen before. So I was like, let's just try it. Especially if they only make five bowls per night. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at Tony. She's causing a ruckus. And honestly, it wasn't bad, but it was like $34 for a bowl. And I don't think I would pay that again because while the beef was good, it wasn't even like the best beef I've ever had. And the ramen, it was like nice because it was a light broth, but it wasn't anything like super special either. So I would stick to my Tokyo classic Abura Soba and the Tsukumen. Although I do want to try their soup ramens too, because we actually haven't tried those there before. And then afterwards we went to Meat Fresh and had Icy Grass Jelly with Taro Balls. That is like my go-to order there and I also like to add caramel pudding sometimes. And then we also got a hot Jing Shren Oolong milk tea. That's like kind of our go-to there. Or we just ordered it once and we liked it. So we just keep ordering that. Anyway, I think we're gonna head to bed. We're probably gonna like watch some TV and stuff. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning vlog. It's not actually morning. It's like two o'clock, but we are out and about. We are about to have lunch with some family. We are going to Mendocino Farms, one of our favorites as you know. Today we're going ring shopping, kind of-ish. I'll update you guys more about that later. After that, we are going to dinner with a friend and that's about it. Tomorrow we might be adopting a cat, possibly because our application got approved. But for now, let's go eat. <laughs> My fingers look so bad. Take it from far away. <laughs> Bird! <laughs> nice. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Wow. Sparkly. Whoa. It's shiny. It's very shiny. It's glistening. to feed Tony. And staying at the jewelry store took us way longer than I expected. So we're like actually rushing to dinner. So we came home very quickly to feed Tony and now we're gonna head to dinner. It's so loud. She is such a cute girl. Alright, I 
I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and now we are doing the giveaway portion of the video so there will be five winners and I'll be putting together a little gift box for each of you guys inside the box there will be a feed of May May boba straw they're officially back in stock they've been out of stock for many months and they're officially back and then of course we also have the boba stickers so we have boba queen boba squad and boba lover so I will be including these stickers in there as well and then we have the ube mochi pancake mix you guys know this is really really hard to find it's out of season right now so you really can't buy it anywhere so this will be included and then I also got these cute strawberry milk bottles you may have seen me make some boba drink videos with this bottle it's super super cute it even comes with a strap so you can carry it with you and then it also comes with a little cleaning brush so yeah all of the boxes will have those things and then I'll try to throw in a few other things here and there so to enter first make sure you're subscribed to this channel and also hit the bell notification and set it to all if you like this video and then make sure you comment below what is your favorite thing about the vlog channel because I want to hear some feedback from you guys so I can make sure I'm putting out vlogs that you guys want to watch so yeah that's all the rules good luck and I'll see you guys in the next vlog bye